Hey yo, what's going on guys? It's Jake here from CWC Technologies. And if you just picked up a brand new Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus, I'm gonna show you how to activate light speed mode on it. Also, all these things I'm about to show you will work on older Samsung devices, such as the Galaxy S7, the S8, the S9, the Note 8, uh, the Note 7 FE, and uh, yeah, pretty much every single Galaxy device, and even even some other Android devices. So anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and pull down your notification toggle and head in here to settings. Once you are here, go to advanced features, and go ahead and scroll down until you see reduce animations make sure reduce animations is turned on okay and this is gonna be for samsung devices running android pi if your device is not running android pi uh, you will not be able to turn reduce animations on but it's okay there's something you can do no matter what android operating system you're doing and even if you don't have a samsung device i'm just about to show you have reduced animations turned on we'll just tone down animation speed overall and make things more snappy and, and uh have the phone feel smoother the phone is incredibly powerful but when i first pulled out the box i was kind of disappointed at how many stutters i was having just from the animations and the phone was bogging down because of it all righty the next step here is to go out and go down here to about phone you're going to come here to about phone and i'm probably going to have this uh totally blacked out because you're going to see some information i don't want you to see but you are going to come here to software information and you're going to come to your android build number software information android build number again i'm going to have this blurred out uh, hit on the blur or the build number a few times and it's going to tell you you're a few steps away from being a developer once you have hit it enough times i believe it's seven to nine times i forget exactly what it is you want to go ahead and enter your pin if you have one set up or your password or what whatever your security setting is for your galaxy note device or other samsung device after you've entered it you will now become a developer after you've done this, you're proceeding at your own risk. Uh, do not play around with any other settings here in this menu that I'm about to, sh other than I'm about to show you. Like I said, guys, it's late. I'm tripping over my words here. I'm so excited. I got this brand new phone here. Go ahead and come into developer options and scroll all the way down to the animation area. And here it is. You'll see drawing. You're going to come here to window animation scale and you can turn it completely off or I still like a little bit of animation. I don't want a long drawn out animation, but I do like a little bit of animation. It does make things look nice and pretty. So I will turn it down to 0.5. I will then turn it on the transition animation scale to 0.5 and also the animation duration scale to 0.5. By doing this, you will significantly speed up your device or speed up the or make it feel faster to be precise the device is still as powerful as it was 20 seconds ago however it is no longer having to deal with all these animations and things will just look significantly smoother and you'll probably feel it almost instantly it'll take the phone a few minutes to go ahead and register everything you maybe even want to go ahead and restart the device but after that everything will be feeling nice and smooth the final thing I recommend doing is downloading a third party launcher, such as Nova Launcher or Launcher Launcher, or even maybe the Google Pixel Launcher if you want to go ahead and get an APK for that. My personal favorite launcher is Nova. A launcher is something that will run on top of your Android phone and will change the way it looks. I'll go ahead and quickly show you what Nova Launcher looks like. All you have to do is come here to the Android App Store, or the Google Play Store that is, and type in Nova Launcher. Uh, you can get a free version of Nova Launcher or pay $4.99 upgrade to the pro version i personally would recommend upgrading to the pro version but that is completely up to you i have upgraded you get a few extra features and of course you help with the developers that have created this amazing app once it's installed go ahead and open it up it's going to ask you about a lot of different things uh, i have a backup i want to use um, and i'll actually do a video separately on how i customize my android smartphone and i've gotten a lot of questions about that in the past but just go ahead and get in here i do want to show you these couple settings here uh, that will help you speed up your device just by using it. Let me come back here. All, you want to choose always for uh, Nova Launcher. Again, I'm going to do a separate video on this, but I just really want to show this here in this video. Uh, go ahead and hold on here. Go into settings, and you can come in here to the uh, Nova Launcher. You can change the uh, look and feel, and you can uh, the scroll speed, have it to Nova, fast, or faster than light. It depends on which one you like. Uh, I personally prefer fast. It takes fast over or takes speed over animation, and also the app animation. You can change 
as well. Uh, but by doing that, installing a third party launcher like Nova, which is a little lighter, I find my phone just runs significantly smoother. Definitely recommend going ahead and turning down those animation scale speed and reduce animations and your phone is going to feel a lot smoother. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and download a third party launcher. Guys, with all that being said, this is Jake here from CWC Technologies signing out. I'll see you somewhere soon on the internet. Peace.